of Israel. And that's what Joshua would do. That's what you and I have got to do. We got to take towns and we got to take cities, but we got to have that relationship. We see how, how God, right, in chapter 1, and we go to, we go to chapter 2, and, and the, that's when they go into Jericho, they send two spies, and they, we see how they encounter Rahab. Rahab was a, was a, a, a prostitute, and you know, God used Rahab in, in, in a mighty way, right, as an instrument for his glory. And then they come back, and then, and then we go into, into chapter 3, right, and, and uh, they're going to cross the Jordan. Right? And, and, and God, you know, just like Moses, he they got to the to the, the Jordan River and God parted the Jordan for them and they walked on dry land. And it's just like you and I, right? We, you and I have gone through some things in life, right? When we get to that point in life and then we see God had, we see God's hand just come into action and we see him Park some seeds in our life, right? And we walk on dry land. Amen. Don't even get dirty. Don't even, don't even bleed. Now, now, look, look what, what, what God's doing in Joshua's life. Can you identify with Joshua right now? Has God parted some seeds in your life? Amen. <coughs> They cross the Jordan, right? They're going to go and conquer Jericho. They go. And we see in, in chapter 5, I'm just giving you a brief outline before I get into the, into the message, okay? Okay, so we, in chapter 5, we see that Joshua encounters the pre incarnate image of Jesus Christ. The angel of the Lord of hosts. And Joshua sees him. And he says, you know, are you with us? And God says, yes. He says, take your shoes up because you are standing on holy ground. In chapter 6, verse 2, the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho in your hand. With its king and its valiant warriors, you shall march around the city, all the men of the world circling the city once. You shall go do this for six days. And on the seventh day, you sh the priest shall carry seven trumpets or ram's horns before the, before the ark. And on the seventh day, you shall march around the city seven times. And the priest shall blow the trumpet. And it shall be when they make a long blast with the ram's horn. When you hear that sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great, with a great shout, and the wall of the city will fall down flat, and the people will go up, every man straight ahead. So God, God's giving him right. You, you see how God's giving him the plan, right? He's talking to God, right? And God's giving him the plan how to take the city. When God calls you out to take cities, he's going to give us the plan. He's going to send us out there. No, no. He's going to give us the plan. And that's the important thing of having that relationship with Jesus Christ. Because you go to him first. You see how before he's going to every victory, he's talking to Jesus. He's talking to God. And God's showing him what to do. So they, so they go in and they take Jericho. They do what God commanded them to do. But Jericho was under man. When something's under man, under man, it means that everything has to be completely destroyed. And the silver and the gold, they're objects, right? That has to be dedicated to the Lord's treasure. So they were to go and take Jericho. Every animal, every person, every living thing, they were to burn and destroy. And the silver and the gold, they were to take it for the Lord's treasure. So right now I can just imagine, 
right how the golden are now and they're doing and they march around on the seventh day and march around seven times and they blow the trumpets and they shout for victory. Then the walls of Jericho fall down. Now who here knows what it is when walls fall down? I'm pretty sure the walls in your life have fallen down, right? Amen. Amen. The walls of, of heroin, the walls of, of alcohol, the walls of prostitutes, the walls of Zanbars, the walls of Zanet, the walls of pornography Amen. have fallen down, right? Amen. They have fallen down in your life, right? But yet there was one who disobeyed him. 